Hi, everybody, and this is how we start our day in our sunny Spain. The whole house is covered with red sand of the desert. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to a new vlog because I've got a great tip for you how you simple can automate parameters on your plugin more or less like an LFO. It's not working with all the plugins and not working with all the parameters, but it's definitely worth checking out. So stick to the end. And after a whole day in the studio, my ears were pretty tired from listening to the music. So I went out for some running. But as you can see in the intro, everything is red from the desert sand. After a half hour running, my whole watch was full of sand and it's incredible. It's even not raining so hard when I was running, but everything was full of sand. But I'm happy to run through the rain because normally it's only sunny weather in Spain. So for me, it's very nice to run through the rain. And after the nice run, I went back in the studio to organize all my music. I had more than 250 gigs of music and there were a lot of doubles, remixes and mashups I never gonna play again. So I took them out and I tried to make my music collection as small as possible so I can find tracks again. And of course you find a lot of old tracks you forgot about so you can play them again in your set. I think it's always good to have some old tracks that everybody knows that you play in your set. Everybody loves it normally, so that's good to pump the crowd up. And as you can see, I'm here in my door in Logic Pro and I open my synth and I'm gonna automate the cutoff here. And then I insert the modulator from Logic itself. And as you can see, it's more or less an LFO. And I can go down here and then learn parameter and click on the cutoff and as you can see the cutoff is now going like the uh, LFO and you can play around with the ratio then the speed goes faster or slower and you can of course play around with the output levels and the LFO uh, cycles. And of course you can automate all those parameters. And you can of course open a second uh, modulator and then select another parameter. I know, I hear you thinking now, but I can automate my parameters uh, in my door. Of course, but now you have special control over it and it's very easy to make an LFO of it. So. This is not as much work as to sign everything in and you have more control over it. As you can see now, the second parameter is now working with the modulator. And of course you can play around with the faders and the parameters here also and you can of course automate them all. So if you have any questions about this, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and I hope to see you back tomorrow. Enjoy!